Okay, hi guys. Uh, good day. This will be our last video discussion for this subject, HRM 136, Quality Service Management in Tourism and Hospitality. Well, uh, before we start, i just like to say a few words, if you will, if you will let me. Um, well, actually, gusto ko magpasalamat sa inyo lahat. Um, I know how hard it is to be a student right now. Um, alam ko kung gaano kahirap mag-aral ngayon. Um, experiencing things like feeling mo wala kang natututunan. Feeling mo nabablanko ka lang. I understand those kinds of things. Overwhelming pressure from people around you. And then... Numerous assignments, numerous deadlines. So, I understand you guys. And I appreciate the fact that you are listening to this video discussion. I know how hard it is to study outside a classroom environment. Lahat tayo bago sa, ano, sa online learning. So, maraming salamat for exerting time and effort in watching these videos. Alam ko kung gano'n siya kahaba minsan. And I know how taxing it is to listen to someone talk about something for hours, for for so many minutes, no? So, yun. Maraming salamat sa inyo. I appreciate the fact that you are listening to this video discussion. And I hope that in every time you watch this, meron kayo natututunan or meron na retain meron na iiwan sa inyo. Set then today, yun naman talaga, ba ang goal. Alam ko, uh, I hope you guys know, no, how hard it is to um, record a video discussion without, you know, I, I, I don't even know if you guys are listening. I don't even know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Hindi ko alam kung natututo kayo. So, um, this is the most that I can do for now and I hope that even if just for a little bit of knowledge no, meron na retain sa inyo at meron kayo natutunan so um, I won't delay any further our discussion for today uh, we can start already now um, actually uh, we will start with this we have three modules to study we have module number two uh, 13, we have module number 15, and we have module number 17. So, 13, 15, 17. Uh, mga odd numbers. And then, meron tayong mga niligtawan din na konti. Alright, so yeah, start na tayo sa module number 13. Training employees to serve. Uh, we, we here in this subject, we talked about uh, the importance of Ensuring that the guests will always receive what they expected to receive. And if possible, even more. No? Exceeding the guest, sec guest expectations will always result in um, guest satisfaction. So, of course, if we will try to achieve that as much as possible, we have to train our employees because our employees will be the one who will face our guests and they will be the ones who will create this experience and of course if hindi maganda experience the guest sa yo sa employee mo you have to do something about it so we have to train our employees so yeah what is employee training Training is a program that helps employees learn specific knowledge or skills to improve performance in their current roles. So, I guess, I don't know, um, this is already a self-explanatory term. When we talk about training, you are trying to improve a specific skill or a specific knowledge that you want to improve upon so that you can execute it better. You can perform that specific skill or knowledge better. So yun yung pinaka focus ng training natin. And of course, if you are if you are an employee of a specific company, you are training to do to to produce the output expected of you from that company. 
So, uh, the importance of training employees, of course, it improves employee performance. Uh, tulad na sabi natin, di ba? It, it, it develops skills, it develops knowledge. So, if you will develop it further, it will, of course, improve. So, employee performance will improve. Increases engagement. Um, of course, if, if you are trying to train your employees, you are engaging your employees. Kung baga nakikipag-usap ka sa kanila, uh, nagkakaroon ng interaction between the employer and, y- and your employees. And that is one of the huge things uh, to to be familiar with in the you know, in the industry no that the importance of engaging engaging not just with your customers but also to your employees um and i'm not sure if i already stated this to you but there are two kinds of customers we have the internal customers and external customers External customers are our main sources of income. Ito yung mga guests natin. Sila yung mga customers na nagbabayad sa atin para sa mga produkto. And we have internal customers and sila yung ating mga empleyado, our employees. So we have to take both, uh, we have to take care of both um, customers, both internal and external. So if you, you don't really, uh, you don't really just engage to your guests, you also try to engage to your employees. You you try to interact with them. And training is one of the things that you can do in order to increase engagement. Now, uh, let's proceed. No? Improves employee retention and growth. Of course, tulad, din, tulad sa isang relasyon, no? sa isang relationship, magsistay ka sa isang relationship if you feel that you are well taken care of if you feel that you are being heard, if you feel that inaalagaan ka ng partner mo, of course, you will stay in that relationship. Same thing goes with employee and employer uh, relationship. If your employees will feel that they are well taken care of, if your employees will feel that they are secure, they are safe while working in your company, if your employees will uh, feel that they are heard, that they are an important part of the company, they will, of course, uh, stay in your company. So it improves employee retention and growth. Uh, Lastly, we have here the consistency and training. Of course, um, tao kasi tayo eh, no? We are are a human variable. Uh, Hindi natin alam kung ano yung mga pwede mangyari in the next few uh, seconds or next few moments, unlike a computer that runs in a specific um, step step of scripts, or it it, it runs with, with with a specific one uh, one dimension line. No? Tayo diyan alam kung ano pwede mangyari. And of course, there are times where we will be inconsistent with the service that we are provided we are providing to our guests. And in order for us to minimize inconsistency. We do trainings. We do trainings every now and then so that the output of the quality that we are serving to our guests will be consistent. So, yun yung importance na training our employees. Another, uh, we have here the tracks employee skills. Of course, um, it, it, it's better to have a database or if it's better for us to know as employers what are the capabilities of our guests. So, if we will do trainings, mas makikilala natin yung ating mga empleyado and we can now track their skills. Alam natin kung sino yung mga nakapag-take na ng training sa front office compared sa mga nakapag-training na ng kitchen compared sa mga nakapag-training na ng barista. So, we track each employee's skills so that we know um, we know how they will engage on certain scenarios and we know how to develop their skills further. Address internal weaknesses. Um, of course, so if we will talk to our employees, if we will talk to our guests, manalaman natin ngayon kung ano yung, ano, kung ano yung mga nangyayari within the organization. Kasi diba, tatandaan nyo, employees are the ones generating your income. Sila yung nagtatrabaho para sa'yo. So they know how 
the operation works. They know how certain things work. And minsan tayo as the employers or minsan tayo as the bosses of of companies, of, of, of other businesses, di natin alam kung ano yung nangyayara sa operations eye to eye. Kasi di naman, di naman tayo yung empleyado. Eh. Di naman tayo yung nagtatrabaho para sa ano, para, para uh, kumita yung business. We are just here to oversee. We are just here to uh, supervise. Sila yun nandun sa field. Kaya alam nila kung ano yung mga issues, kung ano yung mga concerns na kailangan i-address para mas makapagtrabaho na mas maayos. And of course, in turn, if our employees are well taken care of, if our employees uh, feel that they are safe and secure in your company, they will serve um, customers better. And of course, if our customers will experience better service, they will be happier. Which is at the end of the day, really the end product of training. Happier customers. So yan, there's a sample training uh, model here. Starwood Hotels, uh, you, can, you can read this as you want. This is a great example of a training model. It have here for uh, faces para ano, para alam na mga empleyado each and every step of the way kung ano yung nag-i-improve sa kanila, kung ano yung kailangan i-develop sa kanila. So yan, mga, it, it runs in phases. Okay, now we go to the different training methods that we have here. So the first thing we have here is mentoring. Uh, most of these are pretty much self-explanatory. No? We have here mentoring and coaching. Well, mainly they are almost the same. The only difference here is usually with mentoring. Yung nagtuturo sa'yo is a much, much, much higher experience employees. Um, sila yung talagang, ano na, minsan mga boss, yung nangyayari, nagkakaroon ng mentoring, no? Na, uh, from, from, from training, from training a protege, training an assistant, to something else, no? Mo, most likely talaga, ang difference niya is with mentoring, yung natuturo sa'yo is very experienced. Kung baga mataas na yung mataas na yung knowledge niya to that specific um, position. When it, when it comes to coaching naman, uh, usually yung nagturo sa'yo is fairly knows what he or she is trying to do or what he or she is doing. And madalas nangyayari to doon sa mga bagong pasok sa isang company. And um, usually nangyayari to sa mga positions kung saan... Um, well, I'd like to say rank and, rank and file. If you guys know rank and file positions. Rank and file positions, ito yung mga starting na positions. So, doon nangyayari madalas yung coaching. Um, yung, 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 yung natuturo sa'yo is, ano, hindi pa siya ganun ka-experience tulad nung sa mentoring na someone big inside the company already. Uh, apprenticeship, uh, usually, it, it's almost like mentoring and coaching, but this one is for a longer period of time. So, mas, ano, mas, mas, kumbaga, mas detalyado, mas in-depth ang mentoring and coaching when it comes to apprenticeship. Sa apprenticeship, it will take longer periods of time to really, ano na, to really uh, master that skill, to really master that, ano, that skill or knowledge. On-the-job training is training uh, on the job itself. So, mainly experiences ito. And ito usually talaga ang, ano, ang malaking factor. Kaya tayo sa ating industry right now, to the in hospitality, ay nagbubukas ng face-to-face. -face. Uh, ang face-to-face... -face, ang face-to-face... -face, um, face-to-face -face next semester is only for, ano, for OJT, for internship purposes. Ganun kalakas yung ano, ganun ganun ka kalaki yung impact ng on the job training na kailangan magpa-approve mo na sa CHED before we really conduct on the job trainings kasi our industry really is ano, really is taught by experience. Mahirap magturo ng hospitality and tourism with only words, with only papers, with only um written documents, theories, mahirap pagturo ng ano ng ng HRM and tourism doon. So 
the the the, the, the really what is really important for our industry is training um on the job kaya ayan si Ched nagbubukas ngayon ng ano ng face to face for OJT kasi malaki talaga impact ng ano ng OJT sa atin cross functional training is training in different ano different uh, departments like say for example ako I am part of the academic team ako ang isa sa mga natuturo um maybe the the school will will, will uh, let me try other departments i can try working for registrar i can try training to work for finance i can try training to work for marketing so there are ayun yung cross functional training no you are you are trying to train you you are exposing yourself to other departments so that you will be familiar how those specific departments work so yun then baka mamaya if you like pwede ka rin doon na lang um often times nangyayari to sa mga restaurants kumbaga may mga set may may may, may skill set kasi na kailangan for frying may skill set na kailangan for uh, expo may skill set na kailangan for grilling so uh, those different kinds of components requires different sets of training and mastery levels. So, oftentimes, ilalagay ka ng, ng isang restaurant sa, okay, sige, dito ka muna sa grilling, ano, grilling stage. Um, dyan ka muna, and then after working there, after mastering that, uh, dito ka naman sa frying, after mastering frying, dito ka naman sa cashiering. So, yun, yun yung, ganun yung cross-functional training. Simulation. This is often done right now in, I know, in the pandemic situation. Tayo sa ating industry. Pag uh, yung mga OJT natin, they are most likely in a simulation stage right now. Uh, we have we have students who are um, exposed in different aviation companies or aviation training companies para makapag simulate sila ng ano ng work environment sa isang airplane. So of course, you cannot have training every day in an aircraft. So, merong mga training companies na nagpo-focus sa training simulations. And yun yung pwedeng gawin ng mga future um, flight attendants natin. We have um, different training companies out there na pag na-complete nyo yung training nyo doon sa company na yun, you can have a great reference in your resume if you will apply for um, for flight attendants. So, yun, isa sa mga ano. Pwede nyo gawin, simulation. Audio-visual training. So, if simulation will not work for you, uh, pwede ka magkaroon ng training with the use of video or online contents. Tulad na to, na ginagawa natin ngayon dito. Um, ang isa sa mga malaking pinag-adapt natin for, ano, for online learning. The, the rest are also self-explanatory computer-assisted instructions. There will be a computer to guide you throughout the training program and training at home. Kumbaga, ikaw lang sa sarili mo magta-train para sa'yo. So, those are the kinds of training methods that you can use and the importance of training for employees. Now, we go to motivating employees to provide high-quality service. So, at the end of the day, you know, talagang totoo yung sinasabi natin that employees will really help you in your business. Sila ang susi para ikaw ay maging successful sa business mo. Kasi lalo-lalo na kung ikaw ay nasa restaurant and service industry, no, sa tourism and hospitality industry. Uh, the employees really are the ones who are facing uh, facing our guests. And uh, since guests are our main source of income, kailangan maganda ang intention ng empleyado mo pag sila ay magbibigay ng serbisyo sa ibang tao. Not just skills and knowledge, but also in their motivation in giving out service. So, um, ayan, no, since quality and value are defined, since quality and, va and value are defined by the guest, the employer who provides the guest experience must not only be well trained but highly motivated to meet the guest's quality and value expectations and do so consistently. 
So, hindi lang tayo puro training sa skills, sa knowledge. We are also, um, training is not enough for us to deliver quality service, but we also be highly motivated to deliver the quality service. Kasi if we have, kung meron tayo no skills at knowledge na kailangan para makapag-deliver tayo ng quality service, pero hindi naman tayo motivated to do so. Hindi, tayo, hindi natin, parang ayaw natin, wala tayo sa mood mag-serve ngayon. Hindi, hindi rin maganda, di ba? Hindi ka rin makakapag-serve ng maayos sa mga guests mo. So you have to be highly motivated. Now, stay motivated while working in the restaurant industry can, can be quite hard. Kasi, well, if I'll be honest with you, no, working in the hospitality and tourism industry is really exhausting. It's really tiring both mentally and physically. Uh, marami ka nang iniisip sa trabaho. Pagod na pagod ka pa kasi there, are, there, there will be possibilities or it is really, really possible that you will be standing up for almost at least 9 to 10 hours, even 12 hours if, if kinakailangan. And during those 12 hours of standing, hindi ka lang basta-basta nakatayo, you are moving. You are moving your body, you are moving your whole body. Nagbubuhat ka, naglalakad ka, tumatakbo ka, nag-iisip ka kung ano yung kailangan mong gawin next. Um, nagbibilang ka, nagpo-forecast ka at the same time kung ilan yung kailangan mong uh, ilagay or lutuin or what. So, working in our industry can really be challenging. Uh, it's really not for the faint of heart. So, how can we stay motivated if ganun ka taxing ang trabaho natin? Kung ganun ka nakakapagod? So, motivation comes mainly from the admin, from the company, and mainly from the managers. So, managers not just ma managers are not just focused on uh, stocks, not just focused on inventory, on sales, sakita. Um, they're also there to monitor the employees, to monitor their health, to monitor their, to monitor their motivation. Na ako, nalala ko dati, no, when I was still working in the industry. Every time we open a rest, every time we open our gates for our, or our doors for, ano, for customers, we have this kind of huddle. And then dun sa huddle na yon, um, Doon na discuss of course ng mga changes, ng mga plano for that day. And then oftentimes our managers will let us play some games. Naglalaro kami para para lahat kami masaya no? when we start the ano, when we start the operations. And then of course may prizes yung ano, yung games na yon. So nakakatuwa those kinds of motivations really ano, those kinds of efforts to motivate the employees really helps. So ayan uh, we, managers must understand what employee needs. Uh, they know they should know what tools they can use to motivate people and understand how employees react both financial and non-financial awards. So, isa yun sa mga importante. No? Hindi na naman puro pera ang importante. Oftentimes, or in, in most cases, meron ding mga time na mas, eh, mas, mas importante yung respeto as an award <clears throat> mas importante yung um, yung wala nang kakagalit sa isa, isa as, a reward, as a reward so those kinds of things no both financial and non-financial awards um, food or yung mga ayuda na tinatawag natin pwede 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 hindi lang basta basta hindi lang basta pera ang pwede so maraming pwede pang ibigay Understand how their role as managers and leaders are critical for doing all this effectively and in a way that is seen as fair and trustworthy. So, of course, as managers yeah, and leaders, of course, you have to exhibit or you have to show to your employees that you know what you are trying to do and you are doing it effectively and hindi ka nagkakaroon ng favoritism, hindi ka nagkakaroon ng um, issues sa workforce, pag, pag binabastos ka ng mga empleyado mo, you, are, you, you really know what you are trying to do. You know how to lead and you know how to 
see in each in each people or in each in each uh, characteristic alam mo kung paano sila magtatrabaho what motivates people to join organizations so there are many ways on why each person join or uh, why why each person work for a specific company natawa naman ako sa term na to no? join organization and work for a company naman talaga yan all right so there are many ways on why I, um, there are many reasons why we look for a job of course we first and foremost i think this is one of the most important financial needs para makapag provide tayo sa ating mga pangangailangan belongingness um the need to belong to an organization that matches and enhances one's self image there are companies out there that if you if you work for them you feel that you have this kind of um thing for yourself na okay dito ako nang trabaho maganda trabaho ko um maayos ang ano ang ang pagpapatrabaho sa akin um if, if 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 in the future you guys will work for big companies big restaurants big hotels or big airline companies you will have this kind of belongingness no iba ang mga iba ang pakiramdam pa ng trabaho ka as flight attendant sa PAL sa Cebu Pak sa AirAsia iba ang pakiramdam pa ng trabaho ka sa uh, Manila Peninsula Sofitel uh, City of Dreams uh, Osaka ay Osaka ba yun? O, Osaka ata yun Okasa pala Okasa <laughs> yung isang ano yung isang um Kasi no, aside from, ah, uh, oh my gosh, no, wala na sa akin yung mga pangalan ng hotels tsaka casinos. Yung sa Solaire, yan, Solaire and Resorts World, yan. There's, a, there's, the, there's that kind of feeling if you will work there. Sa mga Shangri-La hotels, no, um, yun. Maganda kasi yung mga reputation ng mga companies na yun. Kaya, there's this kind of belongingness if you will work for them. Social needs. Um, of course, tulad na rin ng parang pag sa belongingness yan, no? If there are, there are companies out there that will make you feel stand out. Recognition needs, same, same, hindi pa siya same thing with others, no? Um, recognition needs is, ano, for the mental health of, ano to, of people. There are, there are people out there kasi, there are employees out there who, likes likes if, likes whenever they are being ano being put on a pedestal or likes it when they are being evaluated ayan evaluated by higher ups by admins by managers by supervisors so yun yung recognition needs natin no once that our hard work is being recognized by the higher ups nakakatuwa sa pakiramdam masarap sa pakiramdam i can still remember no i can still remember picture perfect sa sa memories ko the first ever uh first em, first ever employee um first ever employee evaluation that i received from a restaurant and i what i received back then was really good no one of the best experiences of my life so yun yung recognition needs um sometimes talaga kasi we just need that feeling of feeling of being appreciated by others feeling na nakikita ng ibang tao yung efforts na, na ginagawa mo and you are really doing a great job so maganda yun so yun aside from recognition needs ayan, achievement achievement needs then of course um if if you are doing a good job of course if you are if you achieved something for the you know, for the for the company then then good diba it's a great thing so those are eager factors so yun yung mga rason kung bakit tayo pumapasok sa isang ano, sa isang organization so how can managers help um employees in each factors there are many ways First is financial needs, of course, ito nga yung pera. Of course, managers should ensure that all employees are, peri- are em- all employees are paid well enough. Sorry na, utal-utal ako. Um, aside from that, of course, the organization can also 
uh, can also share with the employees that they can buy stocks or stock options sa kanilang company that kada hulod ng pera may wabalik na pera din sa kanila. So, yun. Financial needs. Loans, pwede rin, most likely. Belonging and social needs uh, mainly by working in a group, of course, mas makakaramdam ka ng belongingness and yung social needs mo rin mas ma-achieve pag kayo ay nagtatrabaho as a group. Kasi if you're, if you're working together as a group, of course, there are many, many, many opportunities to talk with similar kinds of people, uh, to work with similar-minded people, um, talk with each other, know each other better, diba? knowing a stranger, one of the best feelings in the world. So, really, no, there are, there are many ways of working in a group, especially in our field, in tourism and hospitality. We always, always, always have to work in a group. I, sobrang dalang lang, no? No moments na kailangan magtrabaho on your own. Pero really, most likely, you will be working in a group. So, yun yung isa sa mga masasayang feeling. Organizational rewards, of course. Sorry, nandiyan yung financial rewards. And yung non-financial rewards na sinasabi ko kanina in forms of recognition programs. So, yan. Many ways for uh, rewards, no? Merit raise, annual performance bonus, and recognition program. Yan, mga nakakatuwa. Always, always a good for us employees. Na, uh, now, next, <coughs> we'll tackle this as our last, ano, last topic. So, we talked about employees, no? one of our internal customers, yung mga employees natin. Now, we will talk about with guest co-creation or we will talk about our customers, our external customers, mga guest. And, to tell you honestly, ang mga guest talaga natin really is one of... We, 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 we can get so much from our guests kasi... Di ba sila nga yung ating end customers? Sila yung pinaka-pinagsisilbihan natin. So, we should always listen to them. They have they have, they have have many kinds of input, many information from our guests that we can use to really uh, develop our businesses further. That can really help us achieve more, di ba? As a, uh, as a hotel and tourism industry pra- practitioner. So, ayan. Ayan, tulad ng example niyan. Firm-centric view of organizations. Management decides what the guests want and designs a delivery system to provide it. Yun yung firm-centric view of organization. Purely, nakadepende sila sa decisions ng management. While in a guest-centric view, um, mas pakikinggan mo yung gusto ng customers mo. And you will you will make them a part of co-creation of the experience. You need to talk that in go guest co-creation. Uh, we are we are trying to get information from our guests in order for us to make them feel better when we deliver our service. So yun yung benefit. Yun yung ano? Yun yung guests guest co-creation. So. Uh, yan, strategies for involving the guest. Ano nga ba yung mga pwedeng gawin o pwede natin gawin para, makapal, para makalikom tayo ng information sa mga guests natin in order for us to improve. no First, we have guests as unpaid consultants, of course. Pag tinanong mo sila directly, no? ano yung mga gusto mo sa mga hindi mo nagustuhan. Mainly na dito yung mga feedback ng mga guests natin, mga surveys. Or um, ayan, no? we can we can ask them as a focus group to give expert feedback about the service experience to the service provider. So you are trying to get the information directly from the customers, from your guests, and then you use those feedback para ma improve pa na mas maayos yung iyong service. Guests as marketers. Dito yung pumapasok yung sikat na term na word of mouth marketing. Kasi, to tell you, honestly, really, totoo talaga. Guests as marketers work. Uh, word of mouth marketing works. So, 
it's good that you have this kind of guest centric guest centered um kind of service na nakadepende sa guest kung ano yung kung paano mo sila gustong i-serve and if guests will feel that they are they are heard from what they want mas ikakalat pa nila or mas sasabihin pa nila sa mga kakilala nila about your business guests as part of each other's experience there are guests who who just who, who likes to do stuff na very adventurous habang meron din mga mga guests na simply just there chilling nagaano lang sila na naranood lang sila they're just observing no they're just there to watch and of course ayun nga experience yon for each other of course nakakahiya eh oh, ko parang ikaw ba ano um gagawin mo yung isang bagay sa isang for example diba amusement parks um yan tulad na nakalagay dito example no sa amusement park to eh um may mga tao na nagra-ride ng extreme extreme rides habang may mga tao naman na, na nanonood lang sila so yun yung isa sa mga example kung paano tayo nagiging part ng experience ng ibang tao yung mga nanonood lang sinasabi nila oh nakakatuwa naman siya ah, nakakatuwa naman siya <laughs> yun um, it's really simple if you will talk, if you will think about it but it's true no those that, that that kind of thinking it works for guest co-creation uh, next guest as co-producers ayan meron pa pala na to no guest as co-producers ibig sabihin merong merong part si guest para bago niya makuha yung hinihingi niya often times ayan examples is POS system pag mag-order ka ng sarili mo sa mga, sa, Mac, sa McDonald's nakikita to Madalas, no? Uh, may mga ordering booths doon. And then, pag may mga self-service, tulad ng mga buffet, mga salads, yan. Um, example of guests as co-producers. And aside from that, they can also be part of the management. Why or how so? Guests can be supervisors. How? Uh, of course, they observe everything. So, pag meron sila nakita na mali doon sa, ano, doon sa operation mo, matatawag sila ng, ano, ng call, di ba? Well, example na to is, ayan nga, guest sees another guest unhappy about the service, they call the attention of the employee and provide feedback. So, yan. Mga, parang mga marites. <laughs> ano, mga... Uh, di naman chismoso, no? Pero, yes eh. Oo, oh, nangyayari talaga yan. Na, ano, na yung ibang table yung, ano, yung nag, nagbibigay ng feedback sa, ano, sa experience, no? Next, they can be motivators. Provide verbal and non-verbal feedback to the employee. Uh, yan, for example, chefs love to be challenged by guests who are knowledgeable about culinary arts. So if if your guest if, if the chef will see that your guest is ano is someone important or someone who knows something or two about culinary arts mas nakaka-motivate yon magtrabaho na mas maayos. Sa akin ang experience ko naman diyan is guest as motivators if I see ano if I see uh people who are enjoying the service no that I that I gave who enjoyed my company while I was in the in the brief moment we interacted. Yun, nakaka-motivate siya magtrabaho ng mas maayos pa. Guests train guests. Ayan, wow. I cannot express how relevant this is. Guest straight guest train guest. Minsan ba dumating kayo sa punto ng buhay ninyo na kakain kayo sa isang lugar pero hindi niyo alam kung paano nagwo-work yung ano yung restaurant na yun. Uh, if I'll be honest with you, I had that kind of experience sa buffet. Uh, I think that was the first time I experienced a buffet and hindi ko alam kung anong gagawin kasi lahat sila kuha na kuha ta- ng pagkain. Ito ko nagtataka ako. How does buffet works? Ano nangyayari? So, yun. I, I just observed other people who are getting their plates 
And then, nakikita ko na, ah, okay. So, free for all pa na to. Pwede, pwede akong bumalik anytime. Um, no, no, no restrictions. Well, there are restrictions in some buffet restaurants. Pero, you know, it, it, as long as you can eat, you can get more food. So, simula nun, ayun, tuwang-tuwa na ako sa mga buffet restaurants. So, yun, guest, train guest. Other, if, 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 if you don't know what to do on certain situations, you just observe other people, how they do stuff, how they interact with one another, how they, how they interact with, with each item or each element in the event. So, yun, guest, train guest, really important as well. Reason for involving guests. Ayan. Wow. Well, if I'll be honest with you, the reason why we involve our guests is... Of course, oh, kasama rin tong mga reason na to, no? Pero if I will just summarize the reason for involving guests into into one um, sentence, no? Or into one idea. It is because we are a customer... We are a guest-driven industry. Tayo sa ating industriya, ang hospitality at ang tourism ay isang industriya kung saan we are very, very focused on guest. Ganon ka-importante yung mga guest sa atin. Parang, parang, <laughs> parang relasyon na ulit, no? Um... Doon ka mas matutuwa sa isang ano sa isang tao na nagpapakita sa iyo ng alaga, nagpapakita sa iyo ng care. So of course, doon ka magse-stay. Hindi ka you, you will always stay in in something na ano na natutuwa ka. So if we will in order for us to achieve that, in order for us to 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 know what our guests wants, of course, we should listen. Tulad din sa isang relasyon, para malaman mo kung ano ang gusto ng partner mo, you have to listen carefully. You don't have to, eh kasi ganito, eh kasi naman ganyan. Hindi eh. You are, you are trying to provide, uh, you are trying to provide someone, something from you. So, papaano mo maibibigay yon if you don't know what your partner wants. Same thing with this. You have to know what the needs of your guests are in order for us to deliver it better. Kasi yun naman at the end of the day ang pinakatrabaho natin as part of the hospitality and tourism industry. It is to have our guests satisfied. Same thing din sa isang relasyon. You have to get your partner satisfied your, or even not satisfied no really beyond satisfaction which is love so yun listen to your guests and listen to your employees yun ang take away natin for this uh, discussion I will end this here right now maraming maraming salamat sa pagkikinig and goodbye everyone bye bye